this is part of a larger problem of that curve that you mentioned or those two curves you mentioned of productivity going up and workers not getting the share of it. In fact, I wouldn't paint it as an ideal world that we had in the post-war II period, but it was one that was trending to somewhat more equality. Uh, and I would say at the root of that is wages were rising along with productivity. And that's because major corporations were keeping people employed for a long period of time, uh, white, white collar, blue collar, uh, paying them higher wages over time. There was an institution I call a career with one company. They had defined benefit pensions, uh, health coverage. Uh, and that is what kind of made the middle class in the United States. Mm -hmm. And all that changed from the 1980s um, uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, corporate conglomeration, which was the beginning of financialization, Japanese competition, and then Korean competition, competition from Asia. But ultimately, uh, it all was exacerbated by the fact that uh, financialization kicked in. This shareholder value ideology started uh, really dominating boardrooms and business schools and said, you know, this is what a company should do. It just gra disgorge that cash flow. Now, where did it go? It goes to people at the top. It goes to the executives. It goes to uh, the hedge funds. It goes to Wall Street bankers. And so we see the whole financial sector getting bigger and bigger over time. Well, there's a reason for that. It's because all this value created in these companies that where it's real value, uh, like, like the products that Apple produces or like the products that Tesla produces or, or, or Cisco produces, they actually are, uh, uh, the gains from them start going to people who had no, nothing to do with, it, with creating that value. I mean, shareholders generally, and in fact, in particular groups of shareholders who are particularly uh, positioned basically to, to, to extract value on, on their own on their own behalf. And my book, Predatory Value Extraction, uh, uh, which came out in 2080 with uh, co-author Jang Sip Shin, goes, goes through this whole process, yep. both starts with the theory and, and the critique of the theory of shareholder value and then how it actually occurs.